I've decided to place all the updates on some of the projects I've previously discussed in one video. It's December after all, so let's round up the year of developments in Montego Bay. Welcome back to Artsy Island Girl Jamaican Vlogs. This is episode 14 of the Developments in Montego Bay series. If you enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Number 1 a few kiosks have now opened up at the Harmony Beach Park, so now you can get food right on the property. This should really complete the experience at the second city's new park. Number 2. It's Christmas time. Do you notice anything different about Sandshop Square? Well, the Christmas tree that normally adorns the square this time of year is now at Harmony Beach Park. The St. James Municipal Corporation's annual Christmas tree lighting ceremony was held at the park in Montego Bay on December 13, 2021. Mayor of Montego Bay Councillor Leroy Williams said one of the reasons for the relocation is that at Harmony Beach Park, they will be better able to maintain the new pandemic protocols. He said that they will also be sprucing up Sam Sharp Square for the season. This will include the painting of the guardrails and the removal and relocation of the electronic billboards that are currently around the fountain. I'm interested to know what your views are on this new development. Do you like seeing the electronic boards at their present location? Or would you welcome a change? Number 3 The construction of Harbour City Shopping Centre seems to be progressing nicely. Here's a look at where it's at now compared to my last visit over three weeks ago. Number 4 The new Popeyes and Burger King on Barnet Street and St. James Street seem almost ready to be opened. I see them painting and I see equipment and furniture being delivered, however, they have yet to share information on the exact opening date. Number 5. The mermaid statue that was unveiled on October 23, 2021 has recently been removed from Pair 1. Since its unveiling, the statue has been getting a lot of attention from visitors who had a lot of questions about it and even took pictures with the statue. They also painted the statue with non-toxic paint to enhance its appearance. Number 6. According to Omar Sweeney, the Montego Bay Fire Station has reached practical completion. They are now working on procuring equipment for the station so that the staff can move in. Number 7. Remember a few videos ago when I showed you the old hospital beach being cardened off? That was done because the Urban Development Corporation is constructing groins along Montego Bay's coastline in an effort to stave off further erosion of the shoreline. The first phase of the groin rehabilitation project, which involves the construction of four groins, is underway at Old Hospital Beach, otherwise known as One Man Beach, and Walter Fletcher Beach.
Number eight. The Sangster International Airport runway expansion is expected to officially start this year and hopefully completed by the end of 2022. They will be extending the runway in excess of 408 meters. The project will include the realignment of sections of Kent Avenue. Number 9. The site where this building was recently demolished seems ready for a new development. I wonder what's next. Thank you very much for watching Sunshine. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe before you go. You can always have a look at these other developments in Montego Bay videos or the entire series playlist.